Greetings, yogis, wherever you are, and whatever time of day this is, I greet you uh, with the joy of the day. And we're here for another flow. Uh, so today we want to do something a little bit different. Um, I'm looking at a lot more twists and just variations on poses that we may do all the time, but not think about how we can expand and go deeper into those poses. So make sure that you hydrate uh, when we're done. Make sure that you take care of yourselves and get appropriate rest as well. This is going to be a little bit aggressive, so I just want to make sure I set that up in advance. Uh, but we're still moving with our bodies. Ahimsa, non-violence towards our bodies. Do what you can, rest when needed. And we'll start on our backs. So coming down onto our backs. And take a moment here. Pressing the shoulders down into the mat. Deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Beautiful. Draw both knees into your chest on and inhale. And exhale. Take another breath in. And as you exhale, extend the right leg long. Keep the left knee drawn into the chest. Flex both sets of toes toward your face. Take your right arm out to a T. Take a deep breath in. And open your left leg to the left. Now, your left leg does not have to reach the floor. You can also use a block and prop that under your left leg. Gaze toward the right. Inhale, draw the left knee back to center. Change sides, draw the right knee in, extend the left leg long. Both sets of toes flex towards your face. It makes the posture active. Extend the left arm out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, open the right knee to the right. Gaze toward the left. Inhale, back to center. And draw your left knee in to meet your right. Take your arms out to a T. Shift your hips to the right and drop your knee, uh, shift your hips to the left, drop your knees over to the right. Gaze toward the left. Using the core to lift your knees back up to the center. <clears throat> Excuse me, opposite side. Press into the left foot, lift the hips, shift them over to the right. Drop your knees over to the left. Gaze towards your right hand. Inhale, back to center, and plant the feet down. Check your alignment, straighten yourself up here. Beautiful. Now draw your knees into your chest and just rock back and forth until you come into a seat. Beautiful. I'll turn this way so that you can face the camera. Take in a comfortable seat. Hands resting on your knees, shoulders lifted up, and exhale down the spine, breathe into your heart center. Inhale, reach your palms overhead, and as you exhale, open twist to the left, taking the right hand on your left knee, gaze over your left shoulder.
Inhale back to center. Opposite side on an exhale, left hand to your right knee. Gaze over your right shoulder. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, forward fold. We're just going to take a few breaths into the low back here. Beautiful. Fingertips spread wide. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, walk the palms back about halfway. And we're going to make our way into tabletop. Beautiful. Now, from your tabletop, you want to tuck your toes and press into your toe mound. And we're actually shifting back for a toe stretch here. And take a few rounds of breath. Deep breath in, exhale, walk forward, coming back into your tabletop. You can just take a moment and pat the tops of your toes onto the mat to release that stretch. Beautiful, and into your tabletop. We'll take a couple of rounds of cat-cow, inhale, drop the belly, lift the head back, tuck the tailbone up. Exhale, press into your palms, gaze towards your belly. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Now come into a neutral spine here. Walk the hands forward. And take your legs back. We're actually going to come down onto our belly. We want to do a shoulder opener here. So take your arms out to a T. And then you're rolling over to the right. Take a deep breath in. Roll over onto the right shoulder. Take the left foot back behind. And you can plant down into your left foot and point the knee toward the ceiling. This really opens the shoulder. It'll come in handy for some later postures. Now take your time as you roll back to the center, moving at a snail's pace. Now extend the left arm out. And we're rolling on to the left shoulder. Pressing into the right palm and bringing the right foot up and over. Planting it down into the ground. Deep breath in. Exhale, back to center. Beautiful. Bring both hands by your rib cage. Tuck your toes. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, press back into child's pose. Bring your big toes to touch. Take your knees out wide and rest your belly between your knees. Reach the fingertips forward and breathe here. You can massage your forehead on the mat, just going from side to side, or rest in the center. Drop the forearms down to the mat. Beautiful. We're going to take some movement, press into the fingertips and roll up into like you're going into tabletop, but you're actually dropping the hips down and keeping the toes lifted, pressing 
the chest forward. Exhale back into child's pose. Inhale, rolling forward, opening the heart. Exhale, child's pose. You may feel your knees going wider as you do this. We'll do one more. Roll forward. Exhale, child's pose. Beautiful. Making your way back into tabletop. Bring the knees back in. Take a deep breath in, extend your right leg back behind and plant your toes down into the ground or your mat. And we're just shifting the weight back and forth here to open up the calf. Inhale back, exhale forward. Beautiful. Now draw the right knee back in and take this motion on the opposite side. Extend the left leg back behind. Plant the toes down. Inhale, press back. Exhale, shift forward. Beautiful. Draw the left knee back into your tabletop. Tuck your toes and then press up into your first downward facing dog. Now bend the right knee. Hold and breathe here. Still pressing into the right toes. Exhale, press the right heel back down and come up onto your left toes, bending the left knee. And exhale, press your left heel down. Beautiful. Now walk the hands forward, setting up for a rag doll. You can take your hips hip with hips, or you can take your feet hips with distance apart or wider. And bend the knees, grasp opposite elbows. Let the crown of your head hang low toward the mat. And take some movement from side to side, shaking the head, yes and no. Change up your mind. And exhale, release the palms down to the mat. Heel toe your feet in to touch and roll up one vertebrae at a time. Roll in the shoulder blades back once you reach the top. Standing in mountain pose, Tadasana. Now take a soft bend in the knees. Take a moment to breathe here. Hands at heart center. Set an intention for your practice. Intention for this practice is stability, to stabilize. Deep breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Half sun A, inhale, reach the palms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward, hinge and got the hips taking your time. Inhale, halfway lift, hands to your shin, point the crown of the head forward. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Exhale, forward fold. Two more, inhale, reach your palms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your palms overhead. 
Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. Full sun, A, inhale, reach your palms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Plant the palms down, step back into your high plank. Now you can take this high plank on your knees and we're actually going through this first time, knees, chest, chin. So drop down to your knees, untuck your toes, lower down to your chest and your chin. Inhale, cobra. And tuck your toes. Exhale, press back to downward facing dog. So knees, chest, chin is an alternative to the traditional chaturanga where you do the high plank, low plank. Inhale, upward dog, downward facing dog. Lift up onto your toes. Exhale, press the heels down into the mat. Lift up onto your toes on an inhale, gaze toward the top of your mat and step down. Inhale, reach your palms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant the palms down and take your chaturanga, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, last one, lift up onto your toes, travel to the top of your mat. Inhale, sweep your arms up overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful, lift up onto your toes, travel to the top of your mat. Deep bend in the knees, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the palms down, step the right foot back for a runner's lunge. Deep breath in, exhale down to the left knee. Untuck the right toes. Now lift the arms up overhead. Exhale, goddess the arms. Create a goal pose with your arms. Inhale, reach the palms overhead. And as you exhale, open twist to the left, bringing the left hand behind, right hand in front. Inhale, back to center. Exhale, plant the palms down. Re-engage your back toes and step your right foot up to meet your left. Chair pose. Bring the palms to touch. Inhale, lift. Exhale, chair twist to the right. Hook in the left elbow on the outside of the right knee. Pressing the palms together to open the chest. Gaze towards your right shoulder. Back to your chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Plant the palms down, step the left foot back, run as lunge. Lower down to your left knee, untuck your left toes. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Exhale, goddess. Inhale, reach the arms overhead. Open twist to the right. Gaze towards your right thumb. Inhale back to center. Exhale, plant the palms down. 
re-engage your back toes, and step your left foot up to meet your right, chair pose. Plant the palms together, inhale, lift, exhale, chair twist to the left, hooking the left el or right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Gaze towards your left shoulder. Inhale, back to center, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold, release. Inhale, reach in the palms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And step back, chaturanga. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Now step your right foot between your hands. Spin your left foot back to a 45 degree angle, engaging the leg muscles here, lift up into warrior one. Beautiful, humble warrior, clasping the hands at your low back, press the knuckles down, drop the head back, open the chest. Exhale, fold forward. Bring your right shoulder on the inside of your right knee and let the crown of your head hang low towards your mat. Exhale, release your hands down to the mat. <clears throat> Excuse me, spin up on your left toes. Step your right foot back to meet your left and lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, step your left foot forward. Warrior one. Lifting, engaging the core. Taking humble warrior here, clasping the hands at the low back, same thing. Press the knuckles down, open the chest, exhale, forward fold. Left shoulder on the inside of the left knee, the crown of your head hangs low. Exhale, hands at the low back, down to your mat. Spin up onto your right toes. Step the right foot, the left foot back to meet the right. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Lift up onto your toes. Travel to the top of your mat. Chair pose. Now, in your chair pose, you're grounding down into the left foot, lift the right knee. And step your right foot back, crescent lunge. Open up into warrior two, swinging the right arm back. Right foot down at a 45 degree angle, relax your shoulders. Gaze over your left fingertips. Flip the left palm up and take peaceful warrior, right hand or right thigh. Lift the left hand, stretch into the left side body. Modified extended side angle. Left forearm, left thigh. Lift the right hand up and overhead. Revolve side angle, right hand down. Spin up onto your right toes, lift the left hand. Exhale, release your left hand down to the mat. Step your right foot up to meet your left, chair pose. Press into the left, right foot, lift the left knee, step it back, crescent lunge. 
warrior too. Peaceful warrior and modified extended side angle. Revolve side angle, left hand down, right hand reaches. And exhale, right hand down to the mat. Step your left foot up to meet the right. Roll up to standing, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, hands at heart center. Beautiful. Just gonna towel off a little bit here. And where we're going next is into the movement. So we're bringing the right knee up for start. Now take a giant step back for crescent lunge. Beautiful. Open up to warrior two. Peaceful warrior. And this time we're going to a full extended side angle. So the left hand all the way on the inside of the left foot, lift the right arm up and overhead. Beautiful. Now bring the right hand down and we're actually going into a revolved crescent. Now we'll take steps to get here. So coming forward, You're shifting into warrior three. You can take your arms out to the side for airplane. Slight up dog in the chest. Now bring the right knee up and we're going into a revolved big toe hold or revolved hold the left right knee with the left hand. Beautiful, come back to center, lower the right foot down. Beautiful, we'll take that on the opposite side. Left knee stark. Giant step back, crescent lunge. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Full extended side angle, right hand down, left hand up overhead. Now revolved crescent lunge. Warrior three. Revolve big toe hold. And release. Beautiful. All right. Now adding on, this is a different range of motion, but we'll get there. Starting out again with stork, right knee stork. Crescent lunge. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Extended side angle. Revolve crescent. Now we're going directly into it. Revolve big toe hole. Warrior three. Standing split, plant the palms down and lift the right leg a little bit higher if you can. Exhale, release your right foot down to meet your left. Roll up to standing, arms overhead. Exhale, hands at heart center. 
always coming back to the breath. Let me start. Crescent lunge. Warrior two. Peaceful warrior. Extended side angle. Revolve crescent. Revolve big toe hole. Warrior three. Standing split. Lower the left foot down to meet the right. Inhale, sweep the arms overhead. Exhale, hands at heart center. Beautiful. Inhale, reach your palms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, out of a plank. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Beautiful. Step your right foot through. Crescent lunge. Warrior two. Now take a straight leg, peaceful warrior, and we're going into our triangle here. Now in your triangle, there's ways to go a little bit further. You can either place your hand on the inside of your foot the outside, reach for your big toe, and extend your arm long overhead. Exhale, left hand down, right hand down, intense leg stretch. Step your left foot up on a train track here. Inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Beautiful, now twist your triangle, take your left hand, plant it down, open, twist to the right. Exhale, left hand down, walk it forward, half moon. Yeah. If you fall out, it's okay. You can get back into it. Maintain the breath. And exhale, lower your left foot down to meet your right. Inhale, reach your palms overhead. Exhale, forward fold. Beautiful. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, reach your palms overhead. Hands at heart center. Beautiful. Take a moment to breathe, recollect yourself, actually towel off. Beautiful, inhale, reach your palms overhead. Exhale, swan dive forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And clear it out with a chaturanga. Or you can just go directly into downward facing dog. Yogi's choice. Two breaths. Beautiful. Now step the left foot forward. Crescent lunge. Open up warrior two. Straight leg peaceful warrior. And coming into your triangle on the left side. Mm -hmm. 
and tense leg stretch, planting the right hand down, stepping the right foot up on the train track, inhale, lift, exhale, fold. Twist your triangle, plant the right hand down and open twist to the left. Half moon, left hand down, walk it forward and shift to lift the right leg. And exhale, release your right foot down and reach your left. Inhale, reach your palms overhead. Exhale, hands at heart center. Beautiful. We'll take dancer on the left. So lifting the left foot behind. Reach for the inner arch of your left foot. Inhale, lift the right hand. Shift forward and kick into your left hand with your left foot. You can have a slight bend in the right knee. And exhale, release. Other side, dancer on the right, kicking the right foot back. Inhale, lift the left, shift forward, and create the push-pull effect. Exhale, release. Beautiful. Hands at heart center. Take your feet out wider than hips with distance apart. And come into a Malasana squat. Plant the palms down and come up onto your knees here. We're actually going to go into camel. Now you can roll the top of your mat for cushioning. To place your knees there. For the first one, we'll keep our toes tucked. And take your hands at your low back. Deep breath in, lift the chest, drop the head back. Exhale, press the hips forward, gaze toward the ceiling. Exhale, release, coming into embryo pose. So just untucking your toes and fold your torso over your knees. Palms facing up, down by your side. Allow the shoulders to roll forward. Second one, press back up. Now this time you can either tuck your toes if you need or flatten onto the tops of your feet. Take a windmill with the right hand, reach for the right ankle, left hand, same thing, and press your heart open. Drop the hand back and breathe. And exhale, release, coming back into the embryo pose. Breathe here. On and exhale, press back up. Unroll your mat. If you rolled it, shift onto your glutes, bring your legs forward. And we'll take a seated tree here. So bring your left foot on the inside of your right thigh. Square your hips. Inhale, reach the palms overhead. And as you exhale, shift forward at the hips and reach for your toes. 
keeping the chest lifted. Exhale, release. Opposite side. Extend the left leg long. Draw the right foot on the inside of your left thigh. Square the hips. Inhale, reach your arms overhead. Exhale, hinge forward and reach for your toes or your shin, whatever is available for you here. Relax in the shoulders. Exhale, release. Extend the right foot long. Shift the hips forward and plant the feet down. Beautiful. We're going to take bow pose, boat pose, excuse me. So you're just shifting back, but keeping the chest lifted and bring your shins up toward the ceiling parallel to your mat and parallel to the ceiling. If you want a little bit more, you can extend your arms long. If you're still looking for more, extend your legs. And exhale, release. Beautiful. Baddha Konasana. So you're bringing the palms of your feet to touch. Just grabbing a hold of them with your hands here. You can move your knees up and down here just to create a little bit of motion and also it helps to loosen the low back. And when you're ready, close your knees together like a book. Wonderful. And we're going to shift back into our tabletop and come back into child's pose. Take a few breaths here. Now as you exhale, come forward. Come to lie down onto your belly. And we'll take a quiet stretch here. Uh-oh, I think I'm good. We'll take a quiet stretch here. So grab a hold of your right ankle and draw your right heel as close to your glute as possible. You can keep your toes flexed if you'd like. Makes the posture a little bit more active. Exhale, release your right foot. Other side, quad stretch on the left. And release. Now just flip over like a pancake. And come into waterfall, plant your feet on the ceiling, toes flex towards your face. Now exhale, lower the left leg and draw your right knee into your chest. Take your left arm out to the side. Take a deep breath in and as you exhale, open your right knee to the right. Inhale back to center. 
Grab a hold of your right knee with your left hand. Take your right arm out to a T and take your supa and twist, dropping the right knee over to the left. Gaze toward the right. Inhale back to center and change sides. Extend the right leg long, draw the left knee in, hold and breathe. Toes flex towards your face to keep the posture active. Relax your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, open the left knee to the left, drop the right arm out to the right. Inhale, left knee back to center. Grab a hold of the left knee with the right hand. Take the left arm out to the side. Inhale. Exhale, draw the left knee over to the right. Gaze toward the left. Supine twist. Inhale, back to center. And draw both knees in. And we're gonna take happy baby. So pressing the feet toward the ceiling as you grab the outer blades of your feet. You can rock from side to side to give the spine a massage. Draw your knees into your chest. Extend your legs long. Now we're coming into fish pose. So pressing into your forearms and just relaxing to drop the head back. Pressing into your forearms to open the heart. Two more breaths. And exhale, lay down, take up space on your mat and prepare for a final Shavasana. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Last one, deep breath in through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. And take rest in Shavasana. Now, yogis, of course, you can always pause the video and stay in Shavasana as long as you like. Uh, if you have to move on with your day, go ahead and begin to deepen your breathing and take some gentle movements with your fingers and your toes. Take a full body stretch with your arms reaching overhead, toes pointed out in front. And draw your knees into your chest, giving yourselves one last hug to close out the practice. Wrap your arms around your shins and draw your forehead to your knees. Roll onto your right side in fetal posture. Fetal pose represents a rebirth from our mat. I like to say it's a chance to begin again. And when you're ready, press into a comfortable seat. 
can cross your legs and lower your gaze or close your eyes. Take your hands at heart center, taking a moment of gratitude to yourselves for showing up for your practice today. Being grateful for our bodies and all that it does for us. And bring your thumbs to third eye center. I thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice. The love and light in me honors the love and light in all of you. We close our practice saying namaste. Thank you so much, yogis, for all of the comments, all of the likes, the shares. Um, it's exciting to see the growth of the channel and also to get a chance to hear feedback from you. Uh, so if you will, please leave some feedback for me. Your feedback helps me to continue to improve. And then also, it uh, just kind of lets me know that you all are there. So thank you so much for your time. Have an amazing week ahead and take care.